Hello, welcome to Soulprint Intuitive Tarot. Thank you very, very much for being here. So, the excitement continues. Um, I am recording this on Monday afternoon. It will be released Tuesday morning. So, Pelosi has endorsed her. Um, Jeffries is waiting for Schumer to get somewhere so they can connect with Harris. But it's absolutely expected those... Um, endorsements will come out. Obama's same deal. So, this is exciting. This is not, like, I'm directing this at women, but I know that there are an incredible number of enlightened men out there. So, you are included. This is an opportunity for the people of the United States to not break through a glass ceiling, but to shatter it. Just think about that for a moment. There's a lot of people who are very disappointed with what happened with Hillary and how things unfolded. In some ways, he had to be elected. It was time for the closets to get cleaned out. It was time for people to look under the beds and drag the stuff out. But he sure as hell does not need to get back into that office. So it's time for something new. Biden allowed, he was, he was the transition president. He, he, transitioned the country from a very, very difficult time to a really, really good time, um, just in terms of employment, economy, it, it, all of it. Um, so now it's time to take another step. And that step is to get a woman into the White House as president. N never mind the fact that she would be the first black president, the first South Asian president. That's what I'm talking about when I say shattered glass. So anybody who has ever had a private reading with me knows, and by the way, if you want one, just go into the Dropbox below and send me out a quick little email requesting um, the reading information at soulprint888 gmail.com and I will reply to you. Uh, they will know that I often will include in a reading sort of personal stories that may to them seem random until I kind of get to the end of it and usually they're like, okay, I got it. I got why you were telling me that. So I'm about to do that. Um, for those of you who are in Alberta or even were in Alberta um, in the late 70s into the 80s, you will remember this, I hope. So during that time in Alberta, there was an oil boom, the likes of which had never been seen. It was such a boom that the government of Alberta was literally creating like a slush fund, like an emergency fund, a millions and millions and millions of dollars simply from the revenue coming in from the oil fields. I'm not going to get into a conversation about the climate, okay? Everybody understands that. In any case, so what you had was you had all of these people who were working on the rigs and connected to the oil companies and, and supplying the oil companies, and there was money flying out of the sky. Everybody, well, not everybody, but most people were in a, a, a really incredible financial place. Now, just think about it logically for two seconds. Um, those had, those were the baby boomers, tail end of the baby boomers who were getting married, they, they were buying houses, etc. And that's how come you'll often say that, you know, their generation, um, will have more than the following generations can hope to achieve. But I don't think that's true. I think 
things will shift. However, I digress. Okay. So, and then, like all good things, it kind of nosedived a little bit. And around that time, I'm paraphrasing because, honestly, I don't remember exactly. There was bumper stickers that showed up. And it said, please, God, give us another chance. We won't blow it this time. So God is giving the American people another chance to get a female into that White House. Not a female who um, was older, right? And, and not one who um, had already sort of accumulated um, some sort of negative feedback. And, and she was amazing what she did. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying she came in sort of a little burdened. So here you go. Let's go, Kamala. Let's take a look and see what's going to go on. Right now, the Republican Party is running around like chickens without heads. They're screaming at the top of their lungs, and they're nonsensical. I mean, you got one guy screaming about plastic straws. You got somebody else screaming about, um, you know, well, just being racist and misogynistic. Um, you, you, people are the, the the Republicans are throwing everything at the wall that they possibly can. They're threatening to sue the, the Democrats because this is somehow illegal. What has happened? I mean, it's ridiculous and right now it's just a blur of craziness coming out of republicans mouths and I, literally it's going to be that way for a couple of days they had an entire campaign sorted out to the fact that this was going to be the oldest president who ever ran for the night from the united states well you know what hi donald so nice to make your acquaintance at 78 you know, some might call it karma. Some might call it what you focus on, you bring to you. Whatever it is, it is completely blown up for them. Meanwhile, the Democrats are energized. They're fundraising, the likes of which have never been seen. $85 million in one 24-hour period. Amazing. Um... And she's receiving endorsements left, right, and center. So this thing is building momentum. And they have to figure out how to push back against that momentum. Well, okay, let's ask ourselves, what are they going to do? You have a group of old white men, predominantly, who have already proven that they're misogynistic. They are racist. Um, I can't remember the third one I was going to say, but you all get it. They are going to come after her with both barrels. Now is the time for women and those enlightened men to not blow it. I'm not placing blame on anybody. I'm saying that the opportunity to get Kamala Harris into the presidency is huge. Let's take that energy and run with it. Okay? I will tell you right now, if I see any comments in my comment section, and those of you to go through, I often leave like comments that, you know, people are yelling at me because I said this or I did that, or I tend to kind of leave them, like, you know, figuring that everybody has a, an opinion. If I see any comments in my thread that talk about we've blown it, we've lost it, this thing is lost, it's a disaster, I am going to delete it. Because we don't need that kind of energy. We need excitement. And that is what's building, and that's what I want you to focus on. Be prepared to push back. 
against the kind of garbage that is going to start flowing out of the Republicans' mouths within the next couple of days as they try to orient themselves to this seismic shock that they have tried, you know, are trying to absorb uh, and try to figure out how to change their entire, entire message. Because now the president, whose greatest achievement was getting a Supreme Court to, like, cancel the Roe v. Wade to reverse it, <laughs> he's now going after a woman who has been making her rounds around the country for a year talking about that exact topic and women's health care and women who are being put in critical health situations. Talking about women who are looking to, for IVF to help them become moms. You should be very careful about getting on a debate stage with her. So it's time now to get energized, to move forward. I, I, I said everybody is entitled to be mad and sad. Yet yeah, it's time to shake it off because he needs every single congressional seat she can get. Why? They need the House. They need a filibuster-proof Senate. That's a big ask. Why is there a fly around here? That's a big ask, okay? And, of course, she needs the White House. So over the next six months, it's going to be really interesting what you see, and particularly in the time between now and the election. Because what I'm getting is is the, the Republicans, all, like, they're just spinning like tops. If they just, they're not going to be able to grab onto something. Yeah, somebody's going to complain about, you know, her her record as a prosecutor, and they're running around saying that she's unqualified. I mean, oh my God, give your head a shake. You got a reality TV star going against um, a woman with unbelievable experience. Um, I can't even think of all the amazing things she's done, but you all know the amazing things she's done. Um so that's just going to fall on deaf ears. It's just going to look stupid. That's going to go on. And the energy is going to keep building and building and building. And behind the scenes, quietly, a reinvigorated Joe Biden is going to be very, very busy pushing through every single thing he can get through to wrap up his agendas. Don't be surprised if there isn't a flurry of... um executive orders coming out. Things that he needed to tread carefully with, he doesn't need to anymore. And, you know, the Republicans are going to say everything bad that Joe Biden did, it's on her. But again, that's not going to actually work. And I suggest they be very, very careful should it come that for whatever reason, Trump, when it comes time for the actual election, isn't there to elect. And J.D. Vance becomes their presidential choice. Karma is ripping through time right now. And it is moving things along at breakneck speed. That's what's going on. And that's what you can look forward to. So, gear up. Do what you can. Whatever it takes, however you can become involved in supporting her election campaign, I really, really encourage you to do that. Not only because um, it's the right thing to do, not only to honor Biden's presidency, but because, once again, y'all are going to be part of making history. And that's something to strive for. 
There's one more thing that I want to tell you that you can look forward to. And that is Kathy Beal and I have had a conversation. She was that amazing astrologer that was here a couple of weeks ago from her YouTube channel is Professional Aquarian. Um, and I love her because she, she explains charts without bogging your head down with like squares and all that stuff because it confuses me. I know it confuses other people. And sometimes we, we want to understand. We don't necessarily, you know, it's kind of like we want our car to run, but we don't actually care how the engine makes that happen. It, it's sort of that same idea. She, we are going to be doing a video. That video is going to be released unless something insane happens on Thursday morning. So, of course, she's going to be looking at um, appropriate charts and giving us some ideas and clarity on what is going on. From what I understand, the craziness is it's not over. It didn't get wrapped up on Sunday when Biden stepped back. There's more crazy to come. And so it'll be wonderful to have her back here and she can guide us through some of the insanity or at least explain potentially why it's happening. That's what I know. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye-bye for now.